Time and suddenly you have the space for these cores to fight and there it is Ooh. enigma deals well with the monkey and it actually uh kind of deals with this team fight quite nicely usually yeah. you uh you look at the phoenix as a good enigma counter but uh, to point out is that he did get the uh the pull off but kick isn't gonna be able to do much still you know phoenix until he gets level three he is incapable of doing anything he is uh, fire spirits do almost no damage so it's uh it is going to be a tough lane for Ari. Even though you have the Boundless Strike to uh, kind of go for the Eidolons, it's still... Oh, kicked. Yeah, oh, that's a very aggressive dive. What was that about? And Rary's actually going to start getting aggressive himself right here. Maybe... Uh, oh, well, uh, Hydra, though. All relatively new. Maybe not that experience together. Oh. The Shaman, he actually goes and denies himself to the Tier 2. Did kick respawn in time to get the experience, though. Yeah, because he did TP to the tier two. Yeah, that, that's a big deal, actually. Once the Phoenix gets level three, that's when he actually starts dishing out. And very soon, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be seeing teams going uh, going ham on each other, and uh, especially because Enigma he has a black hole. This is a dead monkey. Yeah, that is extremely early. Monkey only level four, and the chosen one now halfway to his seven. This. This guy is having a fantastic game. But if chosen one kind of uh, steps too far far forward, but. Rari again. Rari again. <laughs> Let's help out there from the uh, shackles. Actually, still thinking about pushing forwards. That's not enough damage there with the sunray. Charmin is away. Oh, meanwhile, what oh, just caught the back end of that. Vanscore does end up dying. Obviously, whatever the hell he wants is also going for the blink next, and then it will be the BKB. As soon as he gets that BKB, there's not really any real ways they could stop it. Actually, while well, talking about that, Kirich actually ends up getting picked out from a three-man move there from Hydra. Finding that Kunker is a very nice pickup indeed to stall out his game. Gives uh, Rary a little opportunity to try and recover a bit. Even going to poke onto Band score. The freshly completed sharpshoot there from Koval grabbing a second. They're not going to be forced away just yet, but Namiga, they're going to respond by bringing heroes on mass in themselves. They've got the X mark initiation there on towards the Mars. Dive falls there for the Phoenix. Does have the egg to pop and the silence actually there for Mars with the back lines. Beautiful. Lands onto two with the Dream Core Arena with the egg. It's all just coming together here from Hydra. They got the perfect lockdown. Down goes the Shaman. Vanscore's in some trouble, which is actually so damn tanky. ICQ's actually the one having to run away right now. Arskull poking and prodding from the sidelines with his skills. ICQ just about able to get burnt down there. Chosen one. He silenced up. He won to use that black hole but he's just too damn low to really use it now he will drop Koval one final right click for Monreal thought that Hydra was gonna go back but they thought they could win that fight and they were definitely uh right Phoenix hexed up but the Roche is already gone yeah nice Aegis advantage now boat can land the uh, Wukong's commander does get committed for rare but he gets dragged on back in the Sunray's gonna be healing him up and it should be actually be able to sustain him through all of this Monreal has to escape to the north the they get the though. lockdown yeah, he's going to be able to try and tank his way up. Oh, this Wukong's doing so much work onto the entire team of Amiga, but still, Rary, he just cannot survive. He is going to drop. They do kill the uh, first life there off the TA. And it looks like Namiga will just take that victory and back on out. But it looks like Hydra, though. Maybe they were setting up to make something. Nice two-man bushwhack, but is there really enough follow-up? Yes, there is. Immediate In left. comes the Mars. He gets a three-man connection. There is going to be the black hole there, but the Sunray, it kills him. It's keeping ICQ alive. Finally, the Mars drops, but it doesn't even matter. And Amiga has sustained heavy losses here. And it looks like Hydra, they are themselves going to back out now, except to the victory. Or are they? Egg just gets dropped. The bushwhack, the tree, it got cut down, so they can't keep the egg alive. Vanskull will get traded. And now Maril and Kirich in a two-versus-three situation. Koval again just gets taken out from this TA. Rary actually just respawning because this fight's been going on so long. He didn't pop the region. They, there's the two, they're two of the main cores. No one carries detection. Oh, actually, Torrent That's hold cool. them back. Oh, that meld strike nearly immediately killing onto the puck, uh, the puck, sorry. And then the hex onto Rary trying to get his way up to the trees, but he can't find it. Well, Kirich, he actually just missed toggles the uh, armlet there. He ends up dying, but they do get the kill. And now in comes ICQ again. He's respawned off this, gets a fantastic spear back into the tower. Arsko's trying to do the damage on towards the TA. Refraction? He's silenced, but he's just able to get the refraction up. The shackles there from the shaman, keeping them all at bay. Maybe Maril can actually escape this. He's burned into the fire spirits. He will survive to so a 20. HP and as well the uh, shaman actually just about surviving but now the chosen one with the blink dagger he jumps back on in kills kicked we and now Koval 
He Mega is gonna hit. It's not only gonna be the TA and the Kunkka as we thought with their BKBs. It's actually gonna be the Enigma chosen one. He has a blink and he's gonna have the BKB fairly soon. But now the fight will break out. Ooh. Link reveal there from the Shaman gets the connection, but everyone from Hydra was just ready and waiting for it to happen. They get the free grab. They do actually get the X onto the puck, but it's a hard one to f actually get the follow up con uh, connection. So. Just really ends up being the Shaman dead with... It doesn't matter that you don't have Arena, you just want to kill. Oh, oh, he died! Oh my lord, that Mel damage absolutely destroyed Kicked. But again, Hydra, they just get the counter play. They take out the TA. Actually, Buyback gets forced out from the Phoenix as well. As Vanscore is just going to drop here. He's trying to run away, but Rebuke into the back. ICQ says, hell no, you are dying. So it's another... another Probably gonna get bumped into, but you know, I think he'd be happy tanking a four man smoke gank just for himself. That's the life of Pos5. Always tank those awkward gank there for your cause. So he will just die. I think they were, uh, Namiga was picking out Rary at the bot lane as well, but not quite gonna make the move as Hydra just charging over. into their own jungle right now. Kirich is gonna have to be careful. He has the BKB, but he doesn't even get it off in time. The stuns are just too quick and he dies immediately. That was uh, extremely quick initiation there from Hydra. Going in for Chrysalis next. But meanwhile, might just get an entire fight right now. Oh, the spear and the bounder strike both miss there. Monreal just sidesteps it. They do get the pushback, locking him in though. The egg is going to be there, trying to burn away. They're focused onto it. Out comes the arena, but the BKB just says, no, we are not going to get stopped. That egg dies. The arena only trapping in fan score, really. Now ICQ's in some danger. Going to get himself caught in the corner. He does pop his BKB, but it might just be to delay the inevitable. I say that. He, he does get a good spear to try and disengage. Oh, Ooh, the uh, Shadow Shami jumps up to try and get the grab on towards the monkey. Edge gets hit from the boundless out comes the shackle but ask gold he is doing so much work right now for hydra he takes out three the shaman dies and the enigma the final one to fall what a fantastic fight come out there from hydra they take out a difficult fight for them depends how these smokes actually end up breaking now icq leading the charge does get the jump immediately onto the shaman pushes him down to the low ground does get the uh the hex shackle there onto the puck and but, you know, he still Bashes? does Ooh, that's a big kill to find. Overall taking the last hit. And now two people dead. They do the potential grab here onto Monreal right now. They're going on in. The bushwhack once again missing, but it doesn't matter. ICQ's there with the arena. The TA has to pop the BKB to run on out. But again, it's another BKB forced. More space for Hydra to play around. Hi this tier two will fall. Hydra blinks. Again, like, it's Roshan dies super quickly. So Hydra, if they want to try and engage this, they've got to come in quick. It's just dying so fast. Look at it. Actually disgusting. The ICQ though is in, but still the TA manages to find the Aegis. In comes the rest of Hydra. Try and turn this fight around. The egg is off to the side, but the TA is just going to be able to disengage. But there is actually going to be the arena that gets popped. Immediately they do get the lockdown. Can the TA disengage with their life? The pushback actually off the mark. And TA might just tick down. They do. The dot is too much there, but the first Black life hole. has been expended. Black Hole gets huge for the Hoodwink as well as the Mars. It's going to be able to find two Use kills, but cheese. no ICQ with the cheese and the Refresher Shard. Gets the second uh, Mars Arena off there. The Chosen One going to use his own Refresher Orb. The Combat Fire with Fire it might be able to get the kill onto ICQ, which it will. The Chosen One is eventually going to burn down right now, but the Bushwhack lands onto two. Fantastic place there for Kofal into the two-man bounder strike, and these guys from Amiga are just gone. Five mercy. people dead. Six people if you count the Aegis and all they lost for it. Need to find anything they can. All the jump forward is there from Arsgore. Breaks the smoke onto Vanscore. Poking a product. This on dying is just getting so low. Actually having to pop the flesh golem. But in comes ICQ. Finishes the kill. The chosen one's there. He wanted to get the black hole off. But it's not quite going to get the connection. The Instead he's going to drop it there for the solo Mars. But there's no sort of extra follow up damage. Meanwhile the rest of the team is just getting ran out. Dream call onto two. With the Phoenix Egg. It's taking a lot of damage. In comes the Bushwhack. But it doesn't matter. They're all BKB. It avoids it. The Egg is dead. And now Arsgore is going to carry on pushing for more. Kirich is trying to go for the TP out. Is there a bash? There is not. The Kunker able to evade. Rary will just casually find Vanscore in the trees. And Monreal gets a couple more pokes before he has to blink dagger back. But regardless, it's still three people dead. And it's not even over. ICQ's in there. But nice use of the Black Hole there for Chosen One. Making some space for the Bushwhack yet again. It stops the majority of the damage. The Mars will still die. TA by and back. Chosen One going to have to expend his own momentarily right now. Going? I think this is going to be GG because they're going to force the Mega into a mistake. Look at Chosen One. He already made it. He already made that mistake uh, and he's dead.
He's caught just the pokes and then they don't have to overcommit for it. Okay, they dropped the dream call. Meanwhile, Muriel doing serious damage there to Rary, but can't quite find the kill. But regardless, it's a one versus four. They get the grab there onto him, but the BKB is going to be there for the TA to disengage. The Monkey King nowhere nearby to get those bashes. So at least the TA will escape. And Hydra actually just going to go for the barracks right now. They don't want to get too greedy and start hitting tier fours. But like we were saying earlier, their building damage is just terrible right now. It takes so long to kill these things. Kirit's just going to drop the casual torrent and boat to hold the ball back. Nice use of the bushwhack yet again. It finds the engagement. ICQ with the follow-up of the spear. What an easy kill. The shackles are going to hold ICQ back, but it He's doesn't matter. The, the rest of Hydra are just doing so much work right now. Down goes the Shaman. Real having to just run away as best he can but he just can't stand his ground and fight it's just too much work too much control the ta is gone fan score the only one and that that just has to be gg there's nothing they can do oh and GG. okay that's that's one way to call gg just leave the game <laughs> that works so that is hydra taking game number one here in this best of three man that that game i think the uh the main thing in that game was the sport TA just constantly hitting the Mars. I think he hit him like a billion times in this game and he... There's so many stuns on Hydra. You spoke they don't have the arena, but they have so many stuns and he'll go for the Luna. Uh, Namiga are again going to be going for the same type of lineup. You know, it is not a TA, but it is still a farming. Mid, it's uh, still favoring Oscar right now, getting tons of denies. 18 and 8 to just the 11 and 0 here off Monreal. And uh, he'll just continuously land those ever says. Meanwhile, bot is actually where the uh, first blood is found. Oh, Rary to try and go for another kill into the Rave King as he's so low. We'll see, we'll see. Kevin thinking about it. Oh, meanwhile, at the top, Vanscore is trapped inside his own cogs. And he actually gets brought down right there. Always got to be careful. You know, it's like a double edged blade, that skill. Yeah, and Kowal took all of the experience from the DK, so he is level 3. We're already there, or anything well, on cooldown for the Fire Snap or Scatter Blast, so... Does manage to get away, but again, <laughs> no salves. So it's going to take a while before the Chosen One's nice and healthy again. I mean, it, it feels like the uh, the 7 minute ceasefire, it's not really existent in this game. There's just constant aggression coming out from all of these lanes right now. Boo, Hydra. Boo. I mean, it's is a... Uh... Safe laner that takes the tower down early is definitely the Raid King. And now mid lane, Asgold, he needs to be careful. He cannot die again. And finally, the supports Ooh. are going to be coming in. Triple man stun. <laughs> Three man cookie into the Goon Blade. Vanscore just gets absolutely obliterated. There is going to be the X Mark boat to make space. So Muriel maybe can run away. But Rary, he's getting involved right now. He's took down his tower. And he's like, I'm going to come take out the mid laner as well. Easy two kills there for Hydra. Uh, I thought KB, the DK is ready with the blink, and you want to fight. Now, uh, Nemiga don't have that timing where the enemy's uh, Vanscore used his hookshot on the nothingness, and now he's going to die as well. Yeah. He tried to deny a DD there for Arsgold, but just didn't quite work out for him. And they're actually picking out Roche right now. They're going to move on in. Uh, I mean, with this DD on the Lena, they should be able to do it, even if possibly can right now. And both teams, it's just a standoff. They're so close to each other. The hook shot, it actually gets landed there on towards the Lena. They drag out back in, but it is going to be the Aegis. But in comes the rest of the team. They get the stun on towards the Luna. which could pop the BKB, but still down goes the Shadow Shaman. Arsgul stuck inside these uh, Serpent Walls right now, but still manages to find the space to kill Vanscore. And the egg up to the north side of the fight gives the space and... Just forces everyone from Namiga to disengage right now. This tier two is still super low. To defend these towers, so Hydra are gonna think twice when approaching those for sure. Heaven? <laughs> Just casually walking between a few heroes. Oh, nice reactions there with the Hex to get the grab onto Rary. But they don't want to play off it. He's just trying to run away. He's doing ring around the Rosies right now. But unfortunately, you just can't ring fast enough. And he does get taken out. Obviously, you know, just 30 seconds. To think about it, it's a drag, you know? Ah, all about that efficiency, my friend. All about it. Oh, we do see smoke on smoke. Ice Lina Q caught. lean the charge, gets the immediate stun on towards it. But yeah, so is the Lena getting stuck in there. Going to try and run away with the BKB, but this is too much damage. They still drop. Egg gets committed, but where is the protection? There's absolutely none. That still ends up falling. The buyback was actually also expended there for Arsgo. Going to try and get back into this fight. Actually, I think they died with the B. Yeah, they died with TP on cooldown, so he can't even get back in. Oh, that's a huge mistake there from Arsgold. Just wastes his buyback completely. 
Uh, if he doesn't buy back there, though, they lose the Roche. It's not gonna be equal. No, Kunkai is gonna be caught. They don't have their spells. Yeah, all the lockdown in the world. They're keeping him controlled. Actually, he's gonna be able to survive. Maybe get on the target. He can't. Just too Chase much damage. On. And now they're in full retreat. Rary, blink dagger forwards. Nice loose and beam there to make space for heaven. He's just going for the TP out. But still, actually, he's gonna cancel it. They want to try and turn this fight around right now. He the buyback from the Kunkai. The rest of the team focus onto Arskull. She's just dead. Die back from them. And now Wraith King versus the world. He's all on his own. There is a uh, Koval just off to the side now. And he's actually able to get that blink dagger off. Very quick reactions. But can they get the X mark? Not looking like it. Nice cookie to disengage, but in comes Vanscore. The fantastic hook, pushing Beautiful it back in towards the torrent. Absolute fantastic combinations there from Namiga and both. After that silver edge, still a few thousand gold away, mind you, but with this smoke, oh, they bump in towards Rary, but again, Hydra this new. man is just so quick on those blink daggers, but still the fire is going to happen. They got the connection the to Vanscore, locking in the clock, right? He's just gone, and yeah, Namiga caught with their pants down right now, and Kirich is going to have to try and run himself away. He does have the BKB. Actually, just the Silver Edge run is good enough. And uh, Smoke. So they know that this is happening here from Namiga. They're going to move back inside their own triangle. Maybe they can mount some sort of sneaky high ground defense right now as this will catch Namiga unprepared. The jump falls there from the Wraith. He gets an immediate stun on towards the Shadow Shaman. He's, he's getting control up. That's the first life gone already. ICQ. He's going to be able to get the grab here on towards the Shaman. Not before he gets those uh, snakes down, though. At the same time, Vanscore also dropping. Going to expend his own buyback. Arskull this time is not going to fall prey to the Clockwork Initiation. And he's going to be able to disengage right now. Uh, in goes Rary yet again. Gets the stun onto the Luna, but still not enough follow-up. LSA just about connects onto the Kunkra. So ICQ's there once more. They focus onto the Visage. The egg off to the side, but still the Wraith King just dies. Arsgold also gone. Where's all this damage coming from? Everyone on the side of Hydra is getting shredded to pieces, but so is the oh. Luna. The damage coming up from the Phoenix. Everyone's dropping like flies right now. Rary, he bought back for this. He's going to be able to get involved. The Chosen One, the only survivor from the Mega. He's trying to take down Koval as well, and he just about brings down the phoenix but it costs him his own life as well as his familiars there's not going to be easy and hydra they're going for a smoke how long until asgold has buyback one minute okay so uh, it's going to be good enough i guess yeah, they got the jump there onto the chosen one. Obviously, was able to use his little stone form to avoid a majority of the damage. Mortem's kiss is doing absolutely nothing. He able to pop his BKB immediately, and Hydra just have to disengage. Actually, Heaven, he doesn't care about people disengaging. He jumps in. He does get controlled, though. Can't really find anything off of that. Rary's in there, man fighting Monreal right now. The cogs trapping him in. Vance has to get the four staff out to the side and kicked, just using those spy legs. Get up to the high ground. Could have cut off the retreat of the clockwork, and he will go down. High ground. Both time. supports on Amiga in the dirt. And yeah, this is the perfect opportunity for Hyrule to just start taking those objectives. Asgold! Asgold might die here. Let's see if Kiritich can get him down. No, he's not even gonna attempt. Okay. Mid lane. Playing it safe. The BKB, Aegis just expired as well for ICQ, but look how quickly these buildings drop. We said in game number one they had terrible building push, but not this time round. Arskull just shreds these to pieces. Oh, jump falls to Heaven, trying to get the grab as well. Doesn't quite get the connection onto Lina, and now he just gets deleted yet again. Fans Everyone's popping four. their BKBs. Monreal having to go for the TP out. Is he going to be able to make it? The bash, it comes in. They take him out. He does have a buyback, though. He might be forced to use it, and he will. The hookshot falls from Vanscore. He gets the grab onto Arskull, but still not enough follow-up. Triple kill there for them. They follow up. Heaven's also they dead. Both egg. supports once again gone. The chosen one with his own BKB trying to do what he can, but he's only got one familiar left. And his ultimates on cooldown for a bit. Look how quickly these buildings fall. Just getting torn to pieces right now. The Miga, they can't deliberate for too long. They've got to make a decision. Who do they go on? What are they waiting for? They That's get stunned up there onto the Chosen One. Katrone from, L from the LSA. He's going to get taken out. They're going on to Arsgold. There is going to be a fresh roll from Kirit that just got delivered right now. So he's got double beam. got the double BKB as well. And then the Kunkas is controlled. He cannot do any sort of damage. And now it's just a Luna on her own. But objective Dota from Hydra. They just take the throne. They take the game.